And we head across now to live on the scene, Nat Medhurst. I'm not going to call you Natalie anymore. Nat? Thanks, Nicole. Yes, back here um, with the retirees. Kimmy G, Beck, Sharon, and Julie's at home with her dog, Cat, and Daz over in the UK. Um, so first of all, we're going to start with Beck. Beck, what have uh, you and Randall been up to? <laughs> Uh, well, I guess after four years of sort of living apart for, you know, half the year and um, it's really just like another honeymoon at, at the moment. So it's great to get to know him again and I think he's enjoying having his wife back at home doing his cooking and his washing. So he, very, very happy to see each other by the sounds of things. Yes, yes. It's lovely, yeah. Um, and obviously this year, 2015, was a remarkable one for you. I'm going to play it safe because I'm... I'm Beck's probably quite hormonal, um, but so it was an amazing year. Um, ANZ Championship Premiership with the Queensland Firebirds, then World Cup winners. Um, yeah, describe the year. How did you feel going out on such a high? Yeah, it was certainly an amazing year and I really enjoyed it. I, it was great to experience another part of Australia, um, living up in Brisbane, and it was a wonderful team to be a part of. Um, it was sort of partway through the year that... Um, I sort of thought about, you know, maybe it's time to retire and, um, you know, but didn't want to really think about it too much. And when we won the grand final and under those circumstances, I'm like, oh, what a way to go out. Like, that's just amazing. And then, of course, the next day I get a call from Lisa to say that I've made the team. I'm like, oh, now I have to keep training. <laughs> um, but I'm like, it's only another month. And, um, you know, I, when I was, I think I was about 18 and we had to sit down and write our goals, and I didn't really know what to write and sort of, well, what do you do in netball? And it's like, well, it's a Commonwealth game and a world championship. And I guess I'd got to a point in my career where I sort of thought, well, at least I've been to Commonwealth games, but I didn't really expect to play at a world championship. So it really just was a fitting way to go out with a, a dream coming true for me. And I did room with you during the World Cup and Beck was taking numerous naps, eating all sorts of things at weird hours in the morning. So when did you actually know that you were pregnant? Uh, it was actually a couple of weeks before um, the World Champs that I found out I was pregnant. Um, yes, it was quite a surprise, particularly when you don't live with your husband at that stage. <laughs> get the test done, Randall, get the test. Um, so, you know, it's one of, probably one of the reasons why I wanted to retire was because I just really want to have kids and um, hopefully that um, I can be a good mum and, and I think Randall hopefully can be a good dad. And, um, and it is difficult to have children um, when you're living apart from your husband, but not impossible. <laughs> OK, well, we'll leave it at that. We'll move on to Kimmy G. So while Beck's been busy baking and reacquainting herself with Randall, you've become quite the gambler. Yeah, you've been winning very well after the World Cup, had a nice little run at the casino, then at the races, something maybe there to work on? Yeah, um, I hear there are professional bettors around, so um, Trent, you might need to keep that cricket contract and um, yeah, that's my new career, I think. But in, in all seriousness, how has this retirement been for you? You've obviously achieved so much. Netball's been a huge part of your career. I know you're still going on with the Sydney Swifts, I believe, or New South Wales Swifts, I should get that right, sorry. Um, so, you know, how is retirement going for you and, and, you know, what's really pushing you for next year? Yeah, um, thanks, Nat, for all that. Yeah, I think for me... It was just about time. My body needed a little bit of a, a break and like Beck said, what a, what a great way to go out. And uh, for me, watching the girls play the last four tests, it's been, yeah, it's been nice sitting there and watching, um, but I do miss the banter and um, the, the head bands that we play in uh, the physio rooms and things like that. I, I'm a bit of a, a goof when it comes to all the little fun games and I do miss that. Um, but for me now, just, yeah, putting all my attention back into the Swifts and uh, pre-season starts in January and uh, Rob's got us, I think, testing in December. So got a month to try and get this body going again and, um, yeah, I just can't wait. Perfect. And now over to Sharon. Dare I say favourite umpire? Sorry. Everyone else. Um, <laughs> no, but obviously you guys spend so much time training and we really need to ask about the amount of effort that goes into perfecting those umpiring moves. They are absolutely beautiful to watch. Um, you know, is it... No, come on. No, there's some, there's some really good ones happening in there. Please, what's your favourite called? 
favourite call. Yeah. Ooh. Contact goal attack. Oh, <laughs> would you typical? <laughs> right, well. <laughs> I told Nat she had to be nice. I told Nat she had to be nice to me, or I get back to her with a penalty. But I can't do that anymore. I was going to ask you who you wanted to have a dig at, and it's me, quite clearly. Uh, brilliant. Well, well, I think we'll wrap that up. No, um, one more question. No, um, obviously you've had a remarkable career. I've always absolutely loved having you umpire our games, and also, um, I guess that friendship and the talking off the court. What are you really going to look forward to? I won't say miss, but look forward to doing now. Um, yeah, now that you're not umpiring. Okay, I'm going to look forward to not doing that stupid yo-yo test ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> um, I'm going to look forward to spending time with my family and because they're the ones that have missed out probably in all this time and they've done a wonderful job. Graeme's done a wonderful job bringing up the three boys while I've been away every weekend. Um, so they're the things I'm going to enjoy. The things I'm really going to miss is the camaraderie with these girls at this table here and um, and challenging myself to get better each each day and my mum gave me some a, a quote when I was a lot younger um, I might get it right um, which was the only person you ever need to be better than is the person that you were yesterday so and as far as umpiring went that's what I always tried to do um, I know a lot of people sort of went oh you know it's Sharon Kelly again getting the umpire of the year you know but I always tried to make that step a little bit higher and although I might have won it last year, the next year it was, I was going to be a little bit better than what I was the year before and so I'm going to miss that challenge, putting those challenges out for myself. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be different but I'm looking forward to working with, with um, some of the up and coming umpires along the way and watching you girls do what you do best on court. Um, and encouraging you along the way. Oh, lovely. Well, as I said, I'm sure on behalf of all the players, we've absolutely loved having you umpire us um, over all these years. To Beck, Kim, all the best for whatever lies ahead for you. I'll see you on court next season, Kimmy G. And back to you, Nicole. <laughs>